The Collective Security Treaty Organization, the CSTO, was supposed to be Putin's pride and a counterweight to NATO, with Russia at the head, but it didn't work out. There is a key feature that unites the NATO countries. First of all, democratic values. This is respect for international law and willingness to defend a way of life that is based on basic values. As for the CSTO, there is a clear Russian interest in creating a la Warsaw Pact in a much smaller composition, but the conditions are completely different. Of these six CSTO member states, three are in conflict with their neighbors. Last year, Armenia clashed with Azerbaijan and Tajikistan with Kyrgyzstan. Armenia, at that time of the aggravation on the border with Azerbaijan, asked for support from the CSTO, but did not receive it. Experts are sure that Russia did not plan to help any of its so-called partners. That is the problem. The CSTO bloc, of course, wasn't a bloc of equal partners. Russia has always been an old their brother, their boss for the Russian army and for Russia, always as a guarantor of security and territorial integrity. But the failure of the war in Ukraine showed the junior partners in the CSTO that Russia could no longer fulfill its role. And moreover, during the resumption of the conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, Russia could not do anything. Already now, the problems of the CSTO countries are much more effectively solved by Turkey, China or the the European Union. Last year, the Armenian government already announced a possible withdrawal from the organization. Yerevan considered the option of introducing an international peacekeeping contingent to Nagorno-Karabakh instead of Russian peacekeepers, if they are unable to ensure stability. In 2023, Armenia refuses to conduct CSTO drills on its territory, despite the fact that Russia has already announced them. We considered the drills to be inappropriate since they would pose a threat to the Turkish-Azerbaijani tandem. They will come conduct training and then we will be left alone with this threat. I hope for the CSTO, but another thing is that the CSTO can disappoint. Nikol Pashinyan, Prime Minister of Armenia, during a press conference. Putin also lacks support among other members of the organization. In Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan, you can get up to 10 years in prison for participating in the Russian-Ukrainian war. Kazakhstan explicitly stated that they would not participate in Russia's war against Ukraine. President Kasim Jomar Tokayev personally told Putin not to count on them in recognizing the self-proclaimed Luhansk and Donetsk People's Republics. Kazakhstan itself fears aggression from Russia, experts say. Kazakhstan and Russia have the longest land border line in the world. This is more than 7,000 kilometers. Also, in Kazakhstan, there is a significant number of Russian-speaking ethnic minorities and ethnic Russians, especially in the north of Kazakhstan, for example, in the Pavlodar region. This is a question of the integrity of Kazakhstan itself. Therefore, they cannot support the disintegration processes on the part of Russia. The atmosphere inside the CSTO leaves much to be desired. The number of meetings between heads of state and Putin and the level of communication has changed significantly and not in favor for Putin. Some leaders Leaders of these states, such as Armenia, are communicating less and less with Putin or are making statements that disagree with the position of the Russian Federation, are not coordinated with the Russian Federation and, in principle, contradict all the norms that the Russian Federation is trying to introduce in the global information space. In fact, they do not lead to strengthening cooperation. Reported by Roman Smoller, Angelika Brushnevska, UATV News.